Greetings and happy holidays. I'm Leslie Jones, Executive Director of the Philemon M. D'Agostino Greenberg Music School, and I'm sending you wonderful wishes for a happy holiday season. We are at the Met Fifth Avenue where we've just completed our caroling tour this year. Our video is going to send you greetings from the staff, from the school student body, and from our board of directors. Happy, happy holidays. It's been an incredible year for the film. We've got to support each other's dreams and talents, for this is what makes our world full of vibrant dreams to come true. Many blessings to you all and thanks for your work and dedication to the industry and your fantastically accomplished student body. FMDG Music School is, again, so special because it fosters music education for those with vision loss. How special and wonderful to be able to do that. You and your teachers, as well as your students, are making a difference and sharing the joy of music. I was following the pack, all swallowed in their coats, the stars of red tied round their throats, to keep their little heads from falling in the snow. Then I turned round and there you go, then Michael you'd go, then turn the white star and a strawberries in a While you listen, know that she can't see you, but the celebration goes beyond her to a gift made tonight by her music school to the New York Public Library, a gift that brings Braille music to those who need it. Here's Lucy Yang. Twelve-year-old Lana was born with full vision, but she says a botched surgery in Russia when she was young left her blind. Thankfully, it did not take away her voice. I do believe in the power of music because it also touches my heart. I think without music, there'd be no light. There would be no love. Lana performed at the Andrew High School Braille and Talking Book Library on West 20th Street Tuesday night to showcase a very large gift from her music school. The Philemon M. D'Agostino Greenberg School of Music just donated its extensive collection of Braille music to this public library. 3,500 scores for anyone to borrow. The beauty of the first chords of Rhapsody in Blue struck a chord in my heart, and I immediately felt that a school that could produce that feeling deserved a donation to continue in its amazing goal. I would love to bring out one of the guests for tonight. He's a student here at FMDG. He is going to be playing drums. Still it up for Mr. Matthew Vartis.
his school believed in him, and it turns out you believe in him too. It was the moment this week so many of you responded to. Inside that room, Matthew Whitaker, who is blind, playing the piano since he was a boy. They tell us after our piece this week, the school heard from so many of you at home, donating thousands of dollars, from $5 donations to 500 One viewer writing, I was so moved at the whole journey that Matthew went through and the unwavering support of his family. If you would like to help Matthew and his school help other children like him, you can go to fmdgmusicschool.org. I'm David Muir. I'll see you right here on Monday. Good night. It was a pleasure to donate. Our world is suffering on so many levels. Learning about this program and the numbers of people clearly inspired by it is an infectious reminder that the world is full of so much good. Contributing is its own reward. Thank you. FMDG Music School is a unique organization. I know of no other like it. It is unique because it teaches not only music, one of the great arts, but it also teaches how to construct a life with a serious disability. And that is invaluable.